to me, it had so much wisdom. And, and when I think that tree was here uh, when the first people were here, it was here when the first Europeans came in 1868. It was here when my grandfather brought my mother for her first holiday in 1912. It was here when my mother brought me for a holiday in 1940. It was here when I met my husband and we became part of Phillip Island and have lived here in, since 1956. It was here when our boys, our men, went to the First World War. It was here when they went in the Second World War. It was our history. But it was so beautiful. And its loss has been, made me incredibly sad. pay my respects to elders, past, present and future, and any elders here with us today. I also pay my respects to the land we are standing on today, which is our mother, the Bunurong, and Bunjil, the great creator spirit, our father. Woman Jika Udiyaliyal Gwadalong Bunurong Beak Beak. Welcome our many friends to Bunurong country. Please look after her. Thank you. Friends, we are here today because we want to mark and honour a moment in our island and community's history where a tree, a group of trees who have stood here for hundreds of years have lost their lives. We are here to be community. We are here to create community and we are here to honour both what a tree is, which is far more than a tree, it's a habitat. And so by marking this time with words of poetry and song and language in art and our presence here, we mark this time as a step forward in our life as a community, a step forward when we recognise the beauty of the nature on which we are inheritors, but also ones of which we are custodians. Can you say after me? We sing for the trees. The branches and the seeds. The shade. Sing for the trees. Here we go. We sing for the trees. about that tree I was very disappointed but what it's done for me is actually wake me up it's made me realize that if I can't protect a member like that in our community who was a valid member that gave a lot of life and love and looked after the birds and the trees and the animals that I would like to look after those trees because I'd like my children and my grandchildren and their children to enjoy big trees as well not only is that mean to all of us but it's also mean to the kids they can't play in the trees now we have seen the wildlife in that tree we heard the kookaburra kookaburras of an afternoon we have watched the birds in the grevillea we have watched the wildlife in that tree to watch the distress of the kookaburras the other uh, wildlife the were resident in that tree or were part of that tree was absolutely devastated. We were traumatised. I came down to help sew white ribbons to tie around trees um, as a memorial to Samantha Fraser. Um, when I came back with my husband Warren, 
I noticed there was still one very long white ribbon in the car that needed a tree. I found that tree here at Pickle. It was the blue gum. Warren and I tied that ribbon around that tree and spoke to the tree. A hole in our lives. We will recover, but it is a big hole. Thank you. The next morning, this loon, speckled and iridescent, with a plan to fly home to some hidden lake, was dead on the shore. I tell you this to break your heart, by which I mean that it will break open forever and never close again to the rest of the world. The new trees can't replace the old ones. We don't replant 150 year old trees. But we really need to include the trees at the start of when we're planting. When you think about it, a parking lot is a fairly basic thing. And if you know what's in it already, it's not hard to work out that you could maybe work around trees in there. It is now pointless to try to apportion blame. We need to work together towards a better outcome for our significant trees and our native vegetation in the face of future development.